In the previous part, Soma was a chef in a small restaurant, but he always challenged cooking battles and lost to his father. So, Soma's father told him to enroll in the world's top culinary academy. Here he met many genius chefs and challenged them. But, the most powerful figures of the academy were the Elite Ten Council. They are the ten young genius chefs of the academy, and Soma is determined to defeat them, to become the number one chef of this academy. At this time, the autumn elections competition has been organized. After Soma participated in the first round cooking curry dish, he made it to the top eight and advanced to the second round. At this moment, Megumi is very anxious, because the next competition is approaching. So, Soma and Megumi, along with eight other contestants, they went to the office of the Elite Ten Council, to hear them explain about the next match. At this point, Satoshi informed Soma, that the second round competition would be making bento boxes, which surprised him, because the second round was to cook such a simple dish. But, Marina quickly said, bento is a unique Japanese dish, it has even been included in the French dictionary. However, Soma wasn't interested in what she said, which immediately irritated Arena. Suddenly, Etsuya said to Soma, show me your determination to win. The next day, the match began. Everyone gathered at the arena, to watch Soma's first match. Unexpectedly, his opponent turned out to be Alice, making everyone excited, because she is the granddaughter of the principal, and Alice is famous for her molecular gastronomy cooking style, making everyone delighted, not knowing how Soma will defeat Alice. While Alice is teasing Soma, because she believes that Soma's cooking technique is outdated, and cannot surpass her modern cooking technique, but, Soma feels sleepy, it turns out, he didn't sleep last night to prepare the ingredients, Soma immediately declared, today I will defeat you, making Alice excited, so, the match began, and Alice started cooking, even she used modern scientific equipment for processing, causing everyone to be surprised, at this moment, Soma was also cooking, he saw Alice cutting the fish, so, Soma teased her as well, because she also used manual cooking techniques, while everyone was curious, they didn't know what Soma would do to beat Alice, now, Alice had finished her dish, so, she brought it up for the judges to taste, making everyone curious, not knowing what she cooked, when Alice opened her dish, it immediately surprised everyone, because Alice's dish was a bento sushi box, the principal noticed, the fog inside the dish is nitrogen, Alice instructed the judges to eat in order from the upper right corner, the first piece was abalone sushi with espuma, leaving everyone puzzled, why did Alice combine abalone and seaweed? The second piece is cured benito sushi, immediately impressing the judges. Alice explained that the previous combination of benito and seaweed, had helped enhance the dish's flavor, and if they eat this dish in order, they will feel the greatness of this bento combination. Next is the cured beef sushi piece, as the judges took a bite, they immediately found it delightful and feel all the meat components in their mouths. It turns out she also used tomatoes. Alice put the tomatoes in a centrifuge, to break down the substances in the tomatoes, and then added it to the sushi, making the judges surprised. At this point, they had eaten the last dish, which was a piece of sea bream chazuk. As the judges took a bite, they immediately felt the explosive flavor of the dish inside their mouths. The principal felt like Alice was cooking at a high-end restaurant which immediately pleased him, while everyone else was surprised, because of Alice's cooking talent. Soma had also completed his dish, surprising everyone, as he cooked the nori bento dish, but, Soma kept his dish in a thermal container. Soma dish was divided into three tiers, the first tier consisted of side dishes, the second tier contained rice, and the bottom tier was soup. While Alice remained confident of her victory, the judges began to taste Soma's dish, surprisingly, they found it very delicious. It turned out to be fried cod side. Sakari explained that Soma used beer to help make the dish lighter and crispier. The judges realized. Soma had skillfully prepared this snowfish dish. As they tasted it, they felt like they were in the middle of a grassy field. The principal recognized this. He also used dried bonito and seaweed, helping the dish become more savory. Finally, the soup dish. As the judges tasted it, they were delighted, feeling like they were harmonizing with nature. At this point, Alice was also surprised by Soma's dish, but, she said that wasn't enough to win, so, Soma told Alice, that there used to be an old lady who always came to his restaurant, but after a while, she had back pain and couldn't come anymore, thus, Soma cooked a bento for her, and that day, Soma realized, what he wanted to put in the bento box, suddenly, the judges were very surprised, because underneath the main dish was the nori bento, as they took a bite, they immediately felt, the salmon roe bursting inside their mouths, which they found very delightful. 
Alice realized that Soma had also used molecular gastronomy to cook this dish. It turns out that when Soma was young, he learned to make inexpensive candy, so, it helped him create the nori granules, suddenly, this judge discovered that there were still dried benito inside, making him feel like Soma's dish was a treasure trove. While Alice remained very confident, so, Soma suggested sprinkling soup over his dish, surprisingly, this made the judges even more delighted. But, Alice still looked down on Soma's bento dish, suddenly, the principal said, Soma's dish is very special, because he paid attention to using the box to keep the dish warm, that's what bento is all about, so, Soma also let Alice try his dish, surprisingly, it made her keep eating, making her feel very warm, finally, the principal announced, the winner is Soma, making everyone very happy, while Alice was sad for losing, so, Soma comforted her, and he declared that next time he would defeat the elite 10 council, which made Alice angry, she was determined to win against Soma next time, as Soma went inside, Megumi immediately congratulated him, but, the next match is Megumi's, making her very worried, so, Soma immediately cheered for Megumi, on Alice's side, she met Ryo, he praised Alice's dish as beautiful, but, Alice realized he was teasing her, it turned out that in the next match, Megumi's opponent was indeed Ryo, which excited everyone, and the theme for both was ramen noodles, so, the match began, it turned out that the day before, Satoshi had informed both of them of their themes, seeing Ryo very confident, made Megumi worried, so, she went back to learn how to cook ramen noodles. The first step was Megumi thinking about how to cook the soup broth. Next was choosing noodles with high elasticity. She realizes she wants to win against Ryo. Megumi had to create a very rich flavor. Unexpectedly, she continued to fail. Even though she tried many types of soup broth, but couldn't blend them together. Suddenly, Fumio brought a box from her hometown for her. Megumi realized this box was sent by her mother to cheer her up for the next round. Megumi saw many ingredients from her hometown, which helped her come up with a way to cook the soup. Back to the competition. Both were still trying to cook their own ramen noodles. The judges realized that to cook delicious noodles, they needed to focus on three factors. The soup broth, the noodles, and the toppings. Everyone saw Ryo using seafood to cook his noodles, and they remembered the last time he used seafood to cook curry, which helped Ryo score very high. Suddenly, the judges caught the scent of Ryo's soup and they were very pleased. As for Megumi, she used dried scallops to cook her soup. Soma's team realized that Megumi also used seafood to cook her ramen, but her soup broth was more elegant than Ryo's. Suddenly, Alice told Soma's team that Ryo is also from a coastal area like Megumi. Seeing him cut the shrimp shells surprised everyone. Not understanding why he was crushing shrimp shells, Alice told everyone that since he was young, Ryo had been a chef at a seafood restaurant but everyone still trusted her to cheer for Megumi, which made her blush. Knowing they were friends of Megumi's made Ryo uncomfortable. He believed that close-knit chefs were meaningless, because the culinary world is a battlefield, where chefs clash to claim victory. But Megumi said, you're wrong, because she believed that cooking meant people had to cooperate with each other. So, Megumi was determined to prove it to him, and she immediately went back to cooking, seeing Megumi's clear and sparkling soup broth, surprising everyone. The judges suddenly focused on Megumi's station, because they were curious about the ingredients she used to cook the soup broth. Unexpectedly, Ryo had reached the stage of preparing the noodles. At this point, Alice remembered the time she met Ryo at his restaurant. As he tied the headband around his forehead, Ryo seemed to transform into a different person, and he was ready to serve the customers, making everyone enjoy his dish. At this point, Ryo's ramen dish was complete, so, he immediately offered the judges a taste making them feel all the flavors blend together perfectly. Even the noodles were delicious, making one judge almost faint when he tried a piece of rusk biscuit. So, he immediately recognized that this rusk was made from the crushed shrimp shells he used. Alice explained that Ryo had utilized every part of the shrimp in this ramen dish, which intensified its flavor and richness. The headmaster feels like he's battling Ryo, causing him to become bare-chested. It turns out that every time the headmaster undressed, it signified his extreme satisfaction with the dish. Now it was Megumi's turn. Seeing Megumi's harmonious and delicate dish made the judges curious to taste. Surprisingly, they found its flavor to be intense. The judges realized this dish by Megumi is Kozuyu chicken soy sauce ramen. She combined many traditional spices from her hometown, surprising everyone, because there was still one delicious ingredient they didn't know about. Megumi revealed it was dried vegetables. 
She used dried vegetables to create a special flavor, that makes the judges unable to stop eating. At this point, Megumi mentioned there was still another type of sauce, when she added the sauce to the ramen, the judges immediately tasted the sourness. It turned out Megumi used chicken, onion, perilla leaves, and dried plums, to create this sour sauce. The judges were intrigued by Megumi's creation. Suddenly, Ryo also tasted Megumi's dish. Everyone felt like Megumi was bravely battling Ryo, so, Megumi also tasted Ryo's dish. It makes her feel very delicious. Now, the judges were conflicted, feeling like they were witnessing a fierce battle between them. Finally, the results were announced. It left everyone curious, unsure of who would emerge victorious. Unexpectedly, the winner was Ryo. Although Megumi didn't win, but, she feels very light, suddenly, everyone began applauding and praising Megumi, which took her by surprise. The headmaster felt that Megumi had great potential, because his underwear had come loose without him knowing. The next day, the third match began, but no one could see Soma anywhere. Turns out, Soma had fallen asleep. At this moment, Soma is walking toward the arena. Suddenly, he encountered a big guy. Soma realizes he had encountered him during the preliminaries. He introduced himself as Subaru, and he also made it into the top 8. Just like Soma, on the arena side, the battle had begun, turns out. This match is between Akira and Hisako. Everyone recognized both of them as spice masters. Their test is to cook hamburgers. Akira has prepared a large piece of doner kebab meat. People recognized it as a Turkish dish, which is both roasted and grilled meat. On Hisako's side, she prepared a soft-shelled turtle. After processing the soft-shelled turtle, Hisako poured alcohol inside the soft-shelled turtle to help coagulate the blood of the soft-shelled turtle. Next, she added a lot of herbs into the pot. Everyone noticed she had made the broth more flavorful. On Megumi's side, she found Soma because he needed to observe his opponent's match, but they got lost on the way. Luckily, they encountered Takumi, so he led the whole group to a room to watch the match on TV. At this point, Hisako had minced the soft-shelled turtle meat and mixed it with ground pork. Then, she grilled it. Meanwhile, Arena still had full confidence in Hisako. Since childhood, Hisako had always followed Arena. Finally, Hisako's soft-shelled turtle hamburger was completed. As the judges took their first bite, they immediately feel the elasticity of the hamburger. Even the soft-shelled turtle meat inside was tender and melted in the mouth. Hisako's sauce also blended perfectly with the meat. Hisako explained she used the blood of the soft-shelled turtle. Combined with finely ground dried soft shelled turtle spleen, which was a traditional Chinese remedy, as the headmaster took a taste, he felt like a superhero, surprising everyone, because the judges loved Hisako's dish. Suddenly, a strong aroma spread throughout the arena. It turned out Akira had completed his hamburger dish, making the judges eager to taste Akira's hamburger. As they took a bite, they realized they had finished the hamburger without noticing. The headmaster realized he had used pita bread a Middle Eastern bread baked at high temperatures. The headmaster also noticed, Akira had used yogurt to neutralize the meat's smell, and combined it with enhancing spices. The meat patty was a Turkish variety. While Hisako was surprised, Akira explained to her, that there are four important elements in a hamburger. The bun, meat filling, sauce, and pickles. It turns out the pickles he chose were achar. It's made from vegetables and fruits soaked in mustard oil, and combined with a lot of stimulating spices. So, Akira's hamburger made the judges crave for it. Thus, Akira won, making Hisako unable to believe she lost. At this point, she felt very embarrassed in front of Arena. On Soma's side, they received the announcement that the next match was about to begin. So, Takumi immediately challenged Soma, he said. I will defeat you in this competition, which made Soma very excited, and he accepted Takumi's challenge. At this moment, Etsuya told Soma, Takumi's opponent is Subaru. While Subaru is provoking Takumi, he says Takumi's dish is just garbage. Subaru even mocks Isami, Takumi's younger brother, making Takumi furious. At this point, the next match has begun. To everyone's surprise, the MC announces that this is a food war match, leaving everyone astonished. Now, Takumi and Subaru have stepped onto the stage. While Subaru is still humiliating Takumi's younger brother, so, Takumi was determined to defeat him, if I win, you have to kneel down and apologize to my younger brother. At this point, everyone realized that Subaru had investigated everything about Takumi, as he wouldn't hesitate to use any means to win, and Subaru had won 99 food war matches. The theme of this match is to make semi-fredo. Suddenly, Megumi realized, the ingredients for both are the same, 
It turns out Subaru had been following Takumi all along. To know what he would do in the match, Soma's team realized, Subaru wants to defeat Takumi with his own dish, and when he wins, Subaru will take Takumi's important kitchen knife. At this moment, seeing Takumi being very calm and whisking the eggs delicately, even though Subaru is rough and crude, but he also whisks the eggs very delicately. He even separates the egg yolks and egg whites, while Takumi mixes them together. It turns out, Subaru always adds some steps to his opponent's recipe. He is confident his flour beating technique will absorb syrup better. Suddenly, he takes out a bottle of alcohol, surprising Takumi. It's a sweet liqueur made from Italian lemons, because he guessed Takumi would use this type of liqueur for his dessert, and he would use Takumi's own recipe to defeat him. Seeing Subaru so cunning, made everyone very uncomfortable, while Isami was very worried for his older brother, because he realized, Takumi doesn't have time to change the recipe anymore. Suddenly, Takumi put the cake into the oven, surprising everyone. No one knows how he plans to win this match, when both take out their cakes. People see that Subaru's cake has a darker color, it turns out, he replaced flour with almond flour, which would make the cake more fragrant and flavorful. Seeing Takumi worrying, makes Subaru very confident. Suddenly, Takumi remembered when he learned cooking with his brother in Italy, so, he regained his composure, and determined to win this match. Finally, Subaru's semi-fredo cake was completed. The judges noticed that Subaru's cake has three layers. The first layer is almond, the second layer is cream, and finally, there's frozen fresh cream. When they tasted it, they immediately sensed the taste of lemon and the aroma of almonds in their mouths, which surprised them, because Subaru copied someone else's recipe, but could still make a delicious cake. At this point, Takumi also presents his cake. Everyone notices Takumi's semi-fredo cake has up to four layers. When the judges tasted it, they immediately felt the intense lemon flavor. They didn't know what Takumi's fourth layer was. So, Takumi explained that it was lemon curd from England. It turns out he used the remaining ingredients along with olive oil to make this lemon curd layer, which surprised everyone because he adjusted the cake from Italian style to British style. Isami remembered. Their father gave them two bottles of olive oil before they went to Japan. Suddenly, Subaru laughs loudly, because he added salted lemon to his cake. So, he's certain his cake is better than Takumi's, because salted lemon will enhance the flavor of the semi-fredo cake. It turns out he also anticipated, Takumi would use olive oil to make lemon curd. In the end, Subaru won, and he got Takumi Mezzaluna knife. By evening, Soma's team was very angry, because Takumi lost to Subaru. Suddenly, Subaru came to see Soma, he informed Soma, he will be Soma's opponent in the semifinals, so, he proposed a food war match with Soma, if he wins, he'll take Soma's knife, in exchange, he'll bet Takumi's Mezzaluna knife. Subaru thinks this will make Soma angry, surprisingly, he remained very calm and said, you're pitiful, because you've never known the effort to create a dish like Takumi's, so, you won't know the true joy of cooking, at this point, Soma agreed to the food war match, if Soma wins, then, Subaru has to give Soma all 99 knives he has stolen. And if Soma loses, he will give up being a chef, which surprised Subaru and everyone listening outside. Even Soma revealed that in the second round, he will cook a beef stew dish. So, Aikumi immediately rushed in to cover Soma's mouth, because he revealed the dish to his opponent again. But Soma said, I will definitely defeat you, which made Subaru very excited. On Hisako's side, she had left, because she lost, so, Hisako felt unworthy to be beside Arena. On Soma's side, he met a young man. Suddenly, Soma grabbed him, thinking he was Subaru's spy. It turns out his name is Mitsuru from the journalism club. Mitsuru came here to interview Soma, but Soma refused him. Surprisingly, Mitsuru didn't give up and continuously tried to persuade Soma. So, Soma agreed to let him interview him. When Mitsuru found out that Soma would choose beef stew for the next match, he was very excited, so, Soma started cooking the beef stew for Mitsuru to see, first, he fried the meat, then, simmered it with broth until the meat became tender, Mitsuru smelled the delicious aroma of the meat, it turns out Soma had added a lot of spices, finally, Soma's dish was completed, so, Mitsuru took photos and tasted it, he felt the tender beef in his mouth, which made him very delighted, but, Mitsuru didn't feel the sourness of the beef stew, it turns out Soma used this special sauce, to balance the sourness of the beef stew, because this is the first dish of Soma's that his father acknowledges, Mitsuru thought Soma would easily defeat Subaru. Unexpectedly, 
Yesterday Soma also let Subaru try his beef stew dish. Because Soma knew Subaru would investigate him sooner or later, Soma was excited to see how Subaru would upgrade his dish, at this point. Soma was thinking of ways to cook better beef stew. And he remembered his past opponents, they all had their own specialties, but, Subaru doesn't have any specialties, because he just copies his opponents, while Rina is reading a romance novel. She used to be teased by Alice for not having a boyfriend, but, now she feels lonely without Hisako, because Hisako always takes care of Arena. Suddenly, Soma comes to find Arena, which makes her very uncomfortable. It turns out Alice is opening the gate for Soma to come in. At this point, Soma wants Arena to evaluate his dish, but, Arena said Soma would have to pay a lot of money if he wanted her evaluation. Suddenly, Soma saw Arena reading the novel. So, Soma mentioned that there are many of these novels at the Polar Star Dormitory. When Soma was about to leave, Arena agreed to help them. As soon as Arena saw Soma's dish, she guessed the secret seasoning of his dish, white miso sauce, which surprised them. When Arena tasted it, she said Soma's dish was still not enough, not suitable for participating in this competition, because Soma's dish had lost its focus. So, she sent both of them away without saying anything else, but, they still had to pay her fee, which was letting Marina borrow the entire set of romance novels, on Subaru's side, he was practicing mimicking Soma, he was confident that this time he would defeat him, the next morning, Soma was still pondering Marina's words, suddenly, Aikumi came to find him, and she gave Soma a gift, making her blush and saying, you must not lose, at this point, Soma saw that Aikumi gave him a lot of premium beef, suddenly, he remembered Arena's words, and Soma realized something, so, he immediately sent Mitsuru away, in the following days, Soma kept trying to cook beef stew, finally, the match arrived, making Mitsuru anxious, at this point, Soma also arrived, and Mitsuru could feel Soma's confidence, Soma also sent a message to Takumi, Soma said, watch my match, now, Soma and Subaru have entered the arena. Unexpectedly, the judges for this match were the five former students of the academy, and they were also the five former Elite 10 council members. When Jin announced the start of the match, both contestants began cooking. Although the judges didn't favor Subaru, they realized that this would be a tough match for Soma. Marina believed that delicious food from an ordinary restaurant was when the diner still found it delicious by the third bite. But for a high-end restaurant, the diner must find it delicious from the first bite. So, Marina realized, if Soma continued to use white miso sauce, he would fail. Suddenly, she saw, Soma using oxtail to cook, which surprised everyone, because oxtail contains gelatin, which would enhance the richness of Soma's white miso sauce. Megumi saw Soma finely chopping carrot, onion, and celery, and he sautéed them with wine, to enhance the sweetness of the vegetables. This surprised Arena, because in just a few days, Soma's beef stew had changed significantly. It turned out this was Soma's response to Arena. Suddenly, Soma saw that Subaru was also cooking exactly like him. However, he had changed Soma's recipe. Everyone noticed he was cutting the bacon. It turned out, he wanted to make an additional side dish, because French-style beef stew required a side dish. Smelling the aroma of the meat surprised everyone. Subaru had added bacon brine to enhance the flavor of the dish. While Soma remained calm, the judges noticed he hadn't made any side dishes yet, so, they thought Soma wouldn't win. Meanwhile, Soma's friends were also worried, because if Soma lost, he would have to give up being a chef. Suddenly, Subaru teased Mitsuru, saying his computer password was too easy. It turns out, he had secretly read Mitsuru's documents about Soma's beef stew recipe. So, Mitsuru immediately felt guilty. Suddenly, Soma opened a box, surprising everyone, because inside were various cuts of beef. Then, Soma began to prepare the beef, baffling everyone. They realized Soma was improvising his cooking. Suddenly, Soma took out a charcoal grill to cook the meat, surprising everyone, while Subaru confidently stated that he had fought against opponents with no strategy, but they were all defeated by him. Finally, Subaru's dish was completed, so he immediately offered the judges a taste, instantly making them feel like the beef was melting in their mouths. Even the flavor was exceptionally rich. At this moment, Subaru informed Soma that he had soaked the bacon in brine for five days, then air-dried and smoked it, enhancing the flavor of his meat, making the judges feel like they were wrestling with both beef and pork. While Subaru remained confident in his victory over Soma, Soma felt quite pleased, because Subaru did exactly as he had anticipated. So, Soma presented his dish, promptly causing Subaru to worry. It turned out, 
he had made a beef stew. Autumn election special. Everyone noticed it contained various cuts of beef, but the judges didn't see any side dishes, Soma then said. Everything is a side dish, while Subaru thought it was just a mishmash of food, impossible to beat his dish, but the judges found it delicious, like they were riding a roller coaster. They could feel the flavor of the tender meat in their mouths, surprising Subaru, Soma explained. He wouldn't use side dishes to enhance the flavor of the dish, but rather wanted to concentrate all the flavors into one dish. Seeing the judges intrigued, Subaru couldn't understand, this is just one of Soma's impromptu dishes, how could it be so delicious? But, Soma said it was all based on his cooking experience, that's something others can never replicate, while the judges were still very excited, they felt like they were having fun at an amusement park. Jin realized Soma never stopped thinking and innovating to find his own dish, in the end, they decided the winner was Soma, putting him into the finals, making everyone very happy, while Subaru was very angry, so, Soma offered him a taste of his dish, surprisingly, he found it very delicious, bringing back memories of his childhood. Subaru always wanted his father's approval, so, he added a small step to his father's recipe. Subaru unintentionally defeated his father in a culinary exhibition, causing him to leave, since then, he always stayed one step ahead of his opponents, and defeated many people. Even Etsuya wants him to become his subordinate, now. Soma has beaten Subaru, so, Soma took all of his kitchen knives, to give back to everyone, making them very happy. While Subaru thought he couldn't cook anymore, Soma reassured him, at that moment, Takumi also arrived, and said next time he would definitely defeat him, suddenly. Takumi handed his knife to Soma, and said, one day I will beat you and take this knife back, now. Soma has declared war on Arena, when he wins this competition, he will challenge her, on Akira's side. He's blindfolded to smell the aroma of the ingredients, surprisingly, he has guessed everything right. On Ryo's side, he's doing push-ups with one hand, to prepare for tomorrow's match, the next day, the second semi-final match began. Ryo will compete against Akira. Soma also couldn't predict who would win this match, while Arena is feeling very annoyed, because Soma is sitting close to her. Jin announced that their challenge will also be a main dish in Western cuisine. When the match just started, everyone noticed Akira was cutting duck meat, while everyone highly praises Akira, as he deserves to be a candidate for the Elite 10 Council, on Soma and Arena's side, they speculate about Ryo's skills, suddenly, Alice arrived and told Soma that, Ryo's skill cannot be measured by theory, because the taste in his dishes surpasses logic, and she realizes Ryo's fighting spirit is very strong, seeing Ryo prepare eel, it surprised the judges, Jin feels they're like eagles and tigers fighting each other, at this point, Akira has put the meat in the oven, making the aroma spread throughout the arena, surprising everyone, but, Ryo is very focused, turns out he's frying eel, when the eel reaches the highest temperature, Ryo adds red wine and cinnamon, Arena recognizes this as the French dish matelote, and he wrapped the eel with fat netting before frying it, to help the dish maintain its rich flavor, Ryo then mashed the potatoes and added them to the oven, as Ryo was feeling confident of his victory, Akira added his final touch to the dish, and thus, his duck apicius was completed. Upon smelling the aroma of the dish, the judges became intrigued, prompting them to immediately taste it. To their surprise, the dish was delicious, leaving them feeling like ducks themselves. Jin recognized that Akira had utilized a variety of spices, stimulating both the olfactory and gustatory senses of the diners. Akira and Ryo felt like they were engaged in a card battle. While Akira believed he would win, Ryo had also completed his eel matelot dish, although it didn't smell like Akira's dish. The judges found the eel meat very tender, as they tasted it. It felt like an electric current running through their bodies. They realized he had used dried plums. The eel was made rich and creamy with a tangy flavor spreading in the mouth. Ryo mentioned there was still brioche bread and mashed potatoes as accompaniments. As the judges tasted the dish with the eel, they found themselves delighted and couldn't stop eating, because all the flavors blended perfectly together, while Akira was quite surprised. Finally, there was a result. Two judges chose Akira's dish, but Jin chose Ryo's, because he liked the bold flavors of his dish. The girl was also very torn, but she chose Ryo's dish, surprising everyone, because their results were tied. At this point, everyone focused on the final decision but she couldn't make up her mind, which angered Ryo. Jin said their skills were equal, so the decision was to let both advance to the finals, and they would compete against Soma, making everyone excited. The principal also agreed, 
and the final match would be among the three. At this point, Satoshi prepared to announce the topic of the final match. Turns out, the theme of the final match is the Pacific Soury dish, and the final match will take place in 10 days, making all three very excited. While Ryo and Akira are still angry about today's result, they are determined to win in the final match. The next morning, Soma and Megumi went to the fish market, making them very excited, because there are many types of fish here, but, Soma only searched for Pacific Soury, because Pacific Soury is also on the menu of Soma's restaurant, so, he is very confident about this dish. Suddenly, they encountered Ryo and Alice, it turns out they are also there to find Pacific Soury, unexpectedly. Ryo is very knowledgeable about fish, just by looking once, he can choose a high quality fish, but, Soma doesn't want to lose to him, so, both of them quickly prepare the Pacific Soury dish, after finishing, they let Megumi taste it, she immediately realizes that Soma's Pacific Soury is not as good as Ryo's, it turns out, Ryo just needs to look at and touch the fish, he can choose a fresh fish, so, Ryo is very confident in his experience to beat Soma, suddenly, they accidentally hear that Akira has also arrived, he just needs to smell to choose the two freshest fish, at this moment, Soma realizes, his ingredient assessment technique is not as good as theirs, suddenly, Soma remembers his father, he said it takes 10 years to learn how to assess a fish, but, he only has 10 days until the final match, this disappoints Soma, right now, Soma is still trying to think of a way to assess the Pacific Soury, suddenly, he realized something, so, Soma immediately went to find Ibusaki, then, he rushed to the school to find Aikumi, making Aikumi embarrassed, thinking he was going to confess to her, turns out, he wanted everyone's help, Soma said he would choose Pacific Soury a few days before the match, because he wanted to ferment the Pacific Soury, so, Soma gathered the masters in fermentation techniques, immediately, it excites them and they agree to help Soma, thus, Soma started learning how to ferment Pacific Soury, Sakari guided Soma on how to ferment the Pacific Soury, Ibusaki guides Soma on the technique of marinating the block, Aikumi instructed him on adjusting the temperature. Finally, Soma's fermentation experiment was completed. When they tasted it, they found it delicious. But, Megumi still felt it wasn't as good as fresh fish from the market. So, Soma had to continue searching for a solution. As he only had 6 days left, when Soma planned to buy more Pacific Soury for experimentation, he encountered Fumio drinking sake. Suddenly, Soma realized something. So, he came up with a plan. Finally, the day of the competition arrived. Ryo and Akira went to select fresh Pacific Soury, but, they didn't see Soma anywhere. This made them curious about what Soma was up to, by this time, the final round had begun, so Ryo, Akira, and Soma have all stepped onto the arena, and their judges for the day, aside from the headmaster and Jin, the last one being Leonora, it turns out she's Alice's mother, at this point, the match had begun, while Ryo and Akira both chose high quality Pacific Soury. Soma surprised everyone, because they didn't know what he was holding, Akira realized, Soma was fermenting the Pacific Soury, Ryo and Akira were both confident they would defeat Soma, suddenly, the arena's ceiling was opened, revealing a bright moon that delighted everyone, this made Jin reminisce about his own match with Soma's father, at this point, Soma had begun fermenting the Pacific Soury, while Ryo had prepared a variety of other seafood, the judges recognized that he was cooking an Italian-style fish dish, Alice recalled the time she met Ryo, because she wanted Ryo to become her assistant, so, Alice competed in a cooking duel with him, and Alice emerged victorious, since then, Ryo became Alice's assistant, but, they still continued to compete against each other, finally, Ryo emerged victorious over Alice, however, he still referred to her as Mistress Alice, at this point, Soma and Akira realized, that Ryo had used food wrap to retain heat, ensuring the food remained cooked when wrapped, it turned out that through his battles with Alice, Ryo had gained some knowledge of science. Ryo then declared to Akira, this dish of mine will defeat you. Everyone noticed that half of the allotted time had passed, and Ryo had already completed his dish, so, he presented it to the judges for tasting. Unexpectedly, as soon as he unwrapped the food wrap, everyone immediately caught the aroma of various seafood. It turned out that Ryo's dish was named Autumn Pacific Soury Cartochio. When the judges tasted it, they could immediately sense the aroma of Pacific Soury, combined with various other seafood. The headmaster noticed that the scent of this dish was herbal. It turned out he had used herb butter. When you put herb butter and Pacific Soury together in the oven, the herbal flavor will seep into the Pacific Soury, enhancing the taste of the dish. 
It made Alice's mother very excited, and they felt like they were swimming in the sea. Now, it's Akira's turn to present his dish, which surprises Ryo, because Akira's Pacific Soury is just an appetizer. Ryo believes Akira can't win with this dish. Suddenly, Akira uses a blowtorch on the dish, making the judges smell its aroma. It turns out Akira's dish is called Scorched Pacific Soury Carpaccio, making everyone in the arena smell the dish's aroma. When Alice's mother tastes it, she immediately senses the wonderful taste of Pacific Soury. The headmaster realizes that he only used one spice, which is black pepper, and combined it with the blowtorch, making his dish fresher and more delicious. The headmaster sees Ryo and Akira as two warriors battling each other, one representing the explosion of taste, and one representative for aroma and spices. But this time, Akira has gained the advantage because the judges have finished all of his dish. Finally, it's Soma's turn, as he opens his dish, the judges immediately catch an irresistible aroma. So, it turns out Soma's dish is Ojiya style Pacific Soury Takikomi Gohan. Everyone realizes that Soma soaked the Pacific Soury in rice bran. That's when Leonora and Jin immediately taste it, making them thoroughly enjoy the dish, feeling the Pacific Soury seeping into their bodies. They realize Soma grilled the Pacific Soury before cooking it, enhancing the aroma of his dish. They even sense the rich flavor of the fish permeating the rice. It turns out rice bran is a method to eliminate the fishy smell, thanks to him learning from everyone's cooking experiences. Soma devised this fermentation method on his own, leaving everyone astonished. They felt Soma was like a master swordsmith. Everyone thought Soma would win, but they noticed the headmaster was still not convinced. They realized Soma's dish was not enough to defeat Ryo and Akira. Soma then said, it's not over yet. Marina recognized it as miso soup. So, Soma poured the soup over the dish for the judges to taste. Jin observed the soup blending with the sticky rice, surprising him, as the headmaster tasted it. His clothes immediately tore apart. He realized Soma's soup was made with soy milk. Turns out, Soma combined cheese, soy milk, and miso, to create this soup. Alice and Irina realized, soy milk would enhance Soma's rice, combined with the flavor of Pacific soury, creating a powerful taste. Jin realized there was still one more ingredient, turns out, it was crunchy pickled plum. Soma's dish delighted Alice's mother. It makes her recall the moment she discovered her true love, at that moment. Satoshi remembered Soma's father once saying, Soma didn't possess any outstanding talent in cooking, but, he never grew bored of it. So, Soma always fearlessly faced challenges, a strength even Joichiro lacked. Satoshi reveals to Etsuya, the reason everyone hated Soma, was because if they acknowledged him, it meant they were acknowledging their own lack of effort. But now, everyone was forced to recognize Soma. Finally, the headmaster announced the results, making all three contestants anxious as they waited. Akira reminisces about his life eight years ago. Turns out, he was an orphan in the slums. Luckily, Akira met Shiomi, so, he was able to come to this academy and showcase his cooking talent. Since then, Akira has decided, he will always strive to win for Shiomi and he will use his aromatic power to change the world of flavors. Finally, the headmaster announced, the winner is indeed Akira, which surprised everyone. Shiomi was very happy that Akira won. Suddenly, he hugged her, making her feel embarrassed, while Ryo was fuming with anger. But, Alice immediately reproached him for losing. At that moment, Soma recalled his father's promise, until you defeat me again, you must not lose to anyone else. Suddenly, Soma wanted to taste Akira's dish, and Ryo also wanted to try it. At this point, neither of them was conceding to the other, so they continued to argue back and forth. Jin found their interaction quite amusing. Finally, the autumn elections came to an end. At this moment, Soma's group decided to celebrate. Suddenly, he received a call from Joichiro. It turned out that Soma's father knew he had lost in the autumn elections, so he teased Soma about it. But Soma felt fortunate to leave restaurant Yukihira, as he had learned so much here and Soma would continue to search for what could be called his own dish, before he returned to take over restaurant Yukihira. Joichiro realized, Soma's exposure to many new chefs, it will help him continue to develop. The next day, Soma had Ryo try his Pacific soury dish, while Akira feels irritated, because they gathered here, but, both of them still want to try Akira's Pacific soury dish. At this moment, Soma has offered Ryo a taste of his karage roll, suddenly, Shiomi informs them that, the academy is about to have an internship for first-year students, they will be taken to famous restaurants, but, if they tarnish the school's reputation, 
They will be expelled, which excites Soma. The next day, he prepared to go to the internship location. Unexpectedly, his companion on the trip is Hisako, which makes her very uncomfortable because she doesn't like Soma, while they thought they would go to a big restaurant. Unexpectedly, both of them arrived at a small European restaurant. Even all the customers left. At this point, they met the owner named Mamoru. When he found out they were students from Totsuki Culinary Academy, he immediately asked for their autographs. So, both started changing into the restaurant's uniforms. At this point, Hisako told Soma, she's no longer Arena's assistant because she lost in the autumn elections. As they finished cleaning up the restaurant, suddenly, a lot of customers showed up, which surprised Hisako because she saw everyone working very quickly. So, she also started working. Finally, they finished serving the first wave of customers, but, the second wave of customers immediately rushed in, shocking Hisako. She felt like she was in a war zone. However, Soma worked very quickly, surprising everyone. He even handled the situation very well. Although Hisako didn't like Soma giving her orders, she had to set aside her pride to cooperate with everyone. Turns out, Hisako had never encountered such a crowded situation before. By the evening, everyone had finished their work, making them very happy and thankful to Soma and Hisako, which surprised Hisako. Suddenly, Soma slapped Hisako on the back to cheer her up, making Hisako angry. On Arena's side, she has declined the restaurant's head chef because he forced Arena to wash dishes, leaving Megumi unsure of what to do. Even the customers praised Arena's dishes, making the head chef even more uncomfortable. Seeing Arena managing the kitchen, he realized she was taking over his position. On Soma and Hisako's side, they helped improve the restaurant's situation, but they realized, if they left, the restaurant would revert to its previous state. So, Hisako gathered everyone together, and suggested they reduce the menu, to decrease the workload, but, Mamoru opposed the idea, because the restaurant's menu was left by his father. Soma immediately said that keeping it that way would be unfair to the customers, because they had to wait constantly for their dishes. So, Soma suggested they serve customers who made reservations in advance, making everyone worried. But, Hisako said if they didn't change, the restaurant wouldn't grow any further. The next day, they changed according to Soma's suggestion, which helped reduce the restaurant's workload, and it helped provide a better experience for the customers. By the evening, they met the academy supervisor, and she graded them as passing in this internship. It turns out she had been monitoring them all along. At this point, Soma realized that Hisako wanted to go back to Arena, so, he gave her a lot of romance novels, and asked her to send them to Arena for him, which made her very happy. The next day, Soma heard that Shinomiya was returning to Japan to open a branch. While Shinomiya was worried about finding trainee chefs, suddenly, Soma went to find him, which made Shinomiya very happy. Unexpectedly, Shinomiya assigned Soma the task of cleaning up, and Soma met the restaurant's staff. Abel is the head chef of the restaurant, and he saw Soma being friendly with Shinomiya, which made him curious about who Soma was, because he had spent a lot of time getting close to Shinomiya before. After finishing cleaning up, everyone felt exhausted, so, Shinomiya went into the kitchen to cook for them, making them very happy. While Soma didn't know what dish this was, Abel explained that it was French quiche, a famous lunch dish from Paris. So, they tried it, and they found it delicious. Soma realized Shinomiya used burdock root, and he figured out Shinomiya's recipe, which impressed Abel very much. But, Shinomiya felt it wasn't enough yet, which surprised Soma. Shinomiya realized Soma came here for an internship to find his own dish. So, Shinomiya decided to let Soma into the kitchen. Everyone noticed that customers had arrived, thus, they all started working. Soma saw everyone working very quickly. As customers tried Shinomiya's dish, they felt like they were flying in the sky. Soma realized that everyone here worked very professionally. So, he had to try to keep up with their speed, because the principle here is that when customers finish one dish, they must immediately bring out the next one. When Soma couldn't prepare the next dish in time, Shinomiya immediately organized everyone to handle the tasks, making Soma feel very slow and affecting everyone's work, which made Abel very uncomfortable. But, Soma immediately apologized and focused on his work. On the other hand, the other students, they are also trying to overcome their internship. On Soma's side, after finishing work, he was allowed to rest. But, Shinomiya warned Soma that tomorrow there would be three times more customers than today. If he continued to work slowly, there would be no place for him here. That night, Soma remembered his days at the academy. So, he immediately studied how to prepare the restaurant's ingredients. The next day, Soma was the first to wake up, surprising everyone. Suddenly, they realized. 
Soma had cleaned up and prepared all the ingredients, surprising Abel, because Soma had stayed up all night to prepare everything, when the restaurant began to welcome guests. So, Soma worked very quickly, and in the evening, he continued to study how to prepare ingredients, but the next day, he did much better, and Soma also learned a lot from everyone here, which surprised Abel, while Soma progressed and worked very quickly. Abel realized he had fallen behind, in fact, Soma even prepared ingredients to help them, surprising everyone, after Soma finished his work. So, Shinomiya announced that tomorrow would be the final opening day, at this point, they felt confident about Soma, Shinomiya remembered when Soma challenged him to a food war, so, he had a lot of faith in Soma's determination, suddenly, Soma proposed, I want you to organize a competition tomorrow, which surprised Shinomiya and everyone else, because Soma had come up with a new dish, so, Shinomiya agreed, the next morning, Soma asked Abel about French cuisine, he realized that French dishes took a lot of time to prepare, suddenly, Shinomiya announced, today marks Soma's final day of work, even though there were many customers, Soma did an excellent job, so, Shinomiya's final opening day ended very well, at this point, he told Soma, he had invited a special group of guests, they turned out to be judges and former students, even Shinomiya's mother came, this surprised everyone, at this point, Soma asked, why did you choose French cuisine? It turns out, because his mother loves French cuisine, so, Shinomiya decided to become a French cuisine chef, and Shinomiya told everyone, his goal is to achieve three Michelin stars, at this point, when people heard Soma would compete with Shinomiya with a new dish, it surprised them, suddenly, Soma realized, Wei, Lucy, and Abel also participated in this competition, so, Soma and they started cooking, at this point, Soma remembered his father's French-style fried fish technique, thus, Soma realized, his father had accumulated a lot of experience from various countries, and he had incorporated all those techniques into his restaurant, so, Soma felt like he had mastered all the techniques, at this point, Shinomiya tasted Wei, Lucy, and Abel's dishes, finally, Soma completed his dish, they realized his dish was quail stuffed with risotto, it turns out quail is a common ingredient in France and Italy, but, everyone noticed Soma's dish was very unique, because he combined it with various other ingredients, as soon as Shinomiya tasted it, he immediately realized, Inside the quail were eggs and risotto. Hinako also tasted it and she was delighted, because she could feel the combination of egg and meat. It turns out Soma fried the quail with oil. Before putting it in the oven, he combined quail eggs with salt, pepper, and fresh cream. Then, he cooked the risotto with milk. Next, he made a sauce combined with honey, and he did all this using French cooking techniques. Abel couldn't understand how he could stuff risotto into quail. It turns out Soma wrapped the risotto with boiled cabbage, at this point. Soma decided to include quail stuffed with risotto, on the menu at his new Yukihira restaurant. While everyone thought Shinomiya would choose this dish for his menu, Shinomiya said the dish was too bad to serve here, surprising everyone, however, he said he would help Soma adjust some flaws in this dish, which made Soma happy, so, he started helping Soma. The next morning, Soma accepted Shinomiya as his master, which made him feel embarrassed. But, he told Soma, you have to take the number one spot at Totsuki Culinary Academy. On the other hand, other students are still trying to complete this internship. While Soma's new dish has been added to Shinomiya's restaurant menu, on Soma's side, he has returned to the academy, unexpectedly. He received many challenges for food wars, which made Soma very excited. Today's video ends here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's support Oni-chan in the upcoming videos. Wishing you all a happy day and see you in the next videos, love you all.